playing tricks with me. Of course, I wish I had hearing like a leopard. It would make finding them a lot easier. But no noise, no sight of anything from atop of my termitaria. So time to move on. So what I'm doing now at the moment is thinking like a leopard because we don't have an easy area to track. So I'm basically moving from big termite mound to big termite mound. big elephant trumpet but there so I did hear something in that direction uh, quite far away but <coughs> upset elephant probably upset at another elephant uh, morning Natasha who's in Ontario and Natasha would like to know what's oh, the hardest thing about tracking and what animals are the most difficult to track um, of the cats I would say leopard probably female leopard in particular because they're so much lighter that even when they step on slightly hard soil you barely barely see a track and uh, wild dogs are another incredibly difficult animal to track and that's just because they move so quickly so even if you have fresh tracks they can be four kilometers away in a matter of minutes but I'd say of all the animals on Juma it's probably Queen Karula oh look there caught something on the ground. A little fork tail drongo, you got him? It's zapped off its perch. Oh. Waiting for any insect. Now I'm hoping we might see some insects now that it's warming up a little bit. Oh, there we go. As it warms up we might get a chance to see some bugs as well. In the cold morning they were keeping a low profile. And the forktail drongo was sunning itself, enjoying the morning. Now it's warm enough that there's a bit of insect movement. 